Yo, what is good, fellas, and welcome back to another Moshi Banger. Boys, we have some stuff to talk about regarding Madden Ultimate Team. Let's hop right into it, and let's start with what's on the screen right now. Golden Ticket Opportunity Number 3. So, if you guys are part of the VIP beta program, then you all logged in this morning and got that Golden Ticket 1 of 100. Still don't know what that means. It's very confusing. Are they giving us 100 golden tickets and we get to pick one of 100? Are 100 people part of the VIP beta program getting a chance to make a golden ticket? We don't really know. It was worded very weirdly and it's kind of one of those things we gotta just play by play by day. Well, I'm sure we'll hear more about it on Thursday when EA goes live going over draft part two, but Opportunity 3 is kind of leading me to think that we might get 100, old, 100 golden tickets. That seems like a lot. It, it It's a lot. We don't, we've don't. we never seen that before, but hey, you know, it's EA. They could pull one out, and that I mean, that would be sick. So I haven't claimed my free AKA Crew player yet, but I know a lot of people have claimed that free champion, and EA actually didn't make the pack repeatable. Very, very weird and stingy of them considering the time of year. Um, so you guys know, like, if you buy bundles or whatever, you get these AKA tokens, but you can only get one champion as of today, uh, April 22nd. Hopefully, though, EA changes that because that's kind of, kind of BS in my opinion. I mean, boys, it's, it's April. If you're still playing Madden Ultimate Team, you enjoy the game mode, you put the hours in, like, come on, EA, give us the, uh, let us claim another free champion. The cards that came out today, the Blur Brothers and Lamar. Lamar's the best quarterback in the game. God stack galore. Tyreek and um, Jalen, really good cards. I want to go look at those because there's something that, like the boost. Let's go check those out now. I just want to talk about that AKA crew set not being repeatable. I think that's B BS, and I hope EA actually does change that. Moving on over to the catalog, where's Lamar? Because I want to see what this dude is going to cost you. 2.293 million coins for mr lamar jackson i mean you guys all seen these stats he's disgusting zero ap evasive like <laughs> this card is ooh, what this card is really good um yeah this card is I mean, rightfully so i'm apparently michael vick's price has just been absolutely tanked because lamar should lamar's a right-handed better vick what I did want to peep, though, is this uh, Jalen Waddle and Tua both going for 700k. And it looks like, yeah, because if you collect two of them, yeah, so if you get two of them, you get to add plus one speed to any position you choose. So if you get both Jalen Waddle and then put in a Tyree kill, you can get plus one speed to any position of your choosing. If you get two Jalen Waddles and two Tyree kills, you can add plus two speed to any position group on your field. I really like that. Yes, it's going to cost you a lot of coins. Yes, yeah, whatever. But if you have the coins, I highly recommend you do it because plus two speed just because, just because something we've never seen before i think i will be spending my aka crew tokens on this tyree kill though i saw that he gets zero ap jukebox as well there it is yeah so tyree kill if you guys have been saving your tokens like myself go get this tyree kill you won't be disappointed i'm sure you boys all know that so for the rest of this moshi monday recap we're going to talk about the competitive pass and just kind of how it's resetting I said in my video this morning, I recommend getting to Xavier Collins. If you guys can tell, I am not, I'm not going to make it. I've had a lot of vacations coming up over the last, uh, last few weeks and season five was, uh, was not home for most of it. So maybe I'll sit down in my baggie and I'll duffle up a few wins or whatever, but it's not going to happen. I'm probably not going to get to Xavier Collins. Card is really good though. If you guys haven't gotten him, recommend it. I wonder what EA does for this competitive pass. Um, they made the last one really good. Jetta's, if you guys remember, really good card. And Xavier Collins is really good. They made it, they juiced it a little bit. I like this 96 overall BND Weekly Wild card pack. I did enjoy that a lot. And then the rest of it, you know, red zones, midfield. You know, EA took out the free legend earlier in the year from hitting like level whatever in the past. And that was, that was unfortunate. They gave us the two ultimate legend packs. Maybe we see a free UL. I doubt it. 
but maybe it's something to keep in the back of your mind. UL prices could drop come Friday. I doubt it, though. And yeah, I mean, we got the draft promo part two. We'll have a live stream from EA on Thursday at 1030. I mean, yeah, Madden is, uh, we're chugging along. We're getting excited for the end of uh, the year. It's April, boys, and you guys know. EA is always gonna EA. Let's rip up my free B&D pack, and I think that'll, I think that'll, uh, we'll wrap it up with this. We'll call it on that. I appreciate you boys for making it this far. If you guys enjoyed your Moshi Monday recap, let me know down below. If you're new, we do everything Madden Ultimate Team here. Gameplays, card reviews, a lot of news, a lot of me talking. If you guys, you know, you think you, you, think you like me, consider hitting the subscribe button. I'll catch you fellas later though. Peace.